Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Alice, and I'm doing this video project on all that I've learned by 28. Now I'm going to talk about execution. Once your team has a strategy and a plan, make sure you take time to communicate it in a memorable way with quantitative metrics and visual designs that can be reinforced to the full company. And then focus on executing your quarter or executing your month or your annual operating plan with fanatic discipline and make sure you re-communicate and reinforce at least monthly. Too often p companies will spend months, sometimes years, building their strategy and then they'll roll out their strategy via one email memo and most people won't even notice it. It's important not just to have a meeting to kick off a plan, not just to create, not to have a poster, not to have a memo, but to have a meeting, a poster, and a memo and perhaps even a celebration of moving from one stage to the next stage. Create a moment in time when you are committing as a full organization toward your next operating plan, whether it be for the year, or more than one year, or just for the quarter. You want to predefine what success is for your operating plan, both financially as well as quantitatively in terms of what it means to a customer. You want to have predefined measurable results that tie into your team's incentive compensation plan. And really, you want to hold people accountable to your predefined results, not to their methodology of achieving those results, as long as they're treating people well and acting within the golden rule. Now, once your company gets beyond 50 employees, or say 25 employees, if you're a right brain CEO like myself, you need to have a chief operating officer who focuses on keeping the trains running on time and focuses on cross-departmental effectiveness, efficiency, and company metrics and company projects. We never did have a CEO at Eye Contact, and one of the key lessons that I learned coming out of that nine-year experience was to have someone who can help partner with you to get things done. And early on, we had uh, a team that eat, could run the operations of their individual department. But as we grew, we ended up learning that there were so many metrics that crossed multiple departments that might affect, say, sales and marketing, or technology and customer service, that you need someone overlooking all of the operational metrics throughout the organization. Next, you want to operationalize your plan. Once you're clear on strategy, don't skimp on the time to actually make the plan real. Now, this is where you can take some time to do an offsite and to really figure out as a collective full executive team and maybe even your director and managerial level what resources are needed to achieve the goals that you've defined and to figure out what are the right metrics to be tracking on a weekly or even real-time basis that enable your team to have the focus necessary. Once you figure out what those key KPIs or key performance indicators are, track them visually on monitors that you display throughout the company. Next, you want to recalibrate your annual plan at least qu quarterly. The next thing that I learned is to hold four quarterly calibration sessions each year. So during the year, you want to hold these four one-day planning sessions to help you talk about not just the annual plan, but what the next three months, what the next 90 days are going to be. And during the last week of each quarter, you'll hold these sessions that enable you to kick off the next session right at the beginning of the quarter. You want to have no more than five company objectives per six-month period, and that you want to communicate these before the start of the period. Don't, start your, don't finish your annual planning in February. Finish your annual planning in December so that on January 1st or January 2nd or 3rd, you can have a kickoff event and explain the key metrics and how you're going to determine success for your company for that annual period. Once you've made your quantitative predefined results visible, you need to continually test. As Jim Collins says in his recent book, Great by Choice, you want to fire bullets to find what works. In other words, use just a small amount of money to test, get data, improve constantly, continuously, and then once you know what works and you have data to back up your hypotheses, put all your resources behind a big cannonball and fire that at your competitors. So here are the key execution lessons I've learned in the last decade. First, around a million dollars in sales or right before you raise your Series A round of funding, hire a great chief financial officer that can partner with you to take care of financial planning, ensuring you always have enough financial resources to execute your ambitious plans. 
around $5 million in revenue or at least around 50 employees or maybe even sooner, hire a chief operating officer. You need to determine your unit level economics, something I've spoken about frequently during this video presentation. You want to determine how much it costs to acquire a new customer, how much a customer is worth in revenue over the lifetime of that customer, and how much the marginal cost is to create an additional unit of the good that you're selling. Once you know your unit economics, you can scientifically scale up your advertising and marketing and execute and hit your plan. You also want to calculate level, you have to calculate your profits at a product level and ideally at a customer level. And you want to kill products that are not very profitable and invest more in products that are profitable. You want to create a systematized process for giving commendation and praise and peer recognition and awards. Focus on consistently and consciously building a culture that other companies want to emulate, where people love to come to work, where they're intrinsically motivated and are aligned with the passion they have in the world with that which your company is focused on achieving. You want to focus your strategy on doing one thing the best in the world and then executing on creating a unique set of processes that enable your company to achieve something that even a competitor with your full blueprints couldn't even replicate. You invest a lot in product design and creating a beautiful, memorable product experience for your customers. And you create a stock option plan early to make sure your entire team is incented and aligned with their compensation, with your goals, and your company's success. If you're interested in learning more about strategy and execution, here are some of my favorite books on those topics. Good to Great and Built to Last and Great by Choice by Jim Collins. Five Habits of a Highly Effective Team by Patrick Lencioni. Mastering the Rockefeller Habits by Vern Harnish, Execution by Ram Sharan, Peak by Chip Conley, and The Future of Management by Gary Hamel. Thanks for watching this section on execution and good luck on achieving your goals.